Hi, my name is Alexandre Jr. and I will present about the paper Improving the Mobile Robots Indoor Localization System by Combining Islam with Fiducial Markers. This work was developed by me in partnership with the researchers and professors Luis Piardi, Eduardo Bertonha, and Paulo Leiton. Uh, this presentation will be divided into the following topics, the introduction of the subject, uh, a brief review of the architecture of the indoor localization system, the implementation of the localization system, the results, conclusions, and future workers. Uh, it's commonly known that mobile ro robotics have a, a high demand for indoor applications, but for a robot to be able to perform tasks, is required to have a robust localization system to determine the position and the orientation of the robot relative to the environment. But that is not a simple task that uh, given the complexity and dynamics of indoor environments. Uh, I actually use a strategy to the localization in indoor environments uses the simultaneous and uh, localization and mapping. This method allows a robot to generate a map of its surroundings based on the information collected from a sensor, such as a LiDAR. And based on this information, doing the localization of the robot simultaneously with the generation of a map of the environment. But uh, this localization is still subject to some errors due to the lack of precision of LiDARs or even from the odometry of the robot. This can be minimized by using some algorithms like the Adaptive Monte Carlo Localization, AMCL, which make use of a particle filter to estimate the robot's position, having some, in this way, a better localization of the robot. But even in this way, using ISLA and AMCL, the position estimation of the robot can uh, should be subject to some errors, especially in environments with dynamic obstacles or with uh, lack of precision, uh, which, if, for example, in long hallways, which make it difficult to determine the position of the robot, especially when the robot don't know his initial position, the L no uh, kidnap robot problem. Uh, with this in mind, the localization system proposed in, this, in our paper seeks to integrate ISLA and AMCL with the detection of fiducial markers stored through an uh, indoor environment. Uh, fiducial markers are elements commonly used as visual reference points uh, that have uh, a well known shape and size. In this way, uh, when are they detect by a camera uh, and use some visual, uh, artificial uh, visual strategy, it's possible to determine the distance between the camera and the markers. So if we have a camera on the top of a mobile robot and we know the position of the marks is, is valid from uh, uh, in the environment, we can determine the, the real position of the robot based on the, the markers and update this information to the AMCL algorithm. In this way, reduce the errors. Uh, here, we have a simplification of the architecture of the system. So basically, in the environment, the robot will be collected some information. We have the odometry of the robot and the LiDAR sensor. This information is used by VLAN to and AMCL to localization the robot and then estimate the position of, of the robot. In the same time, a camera on the top of the, the robot uh, is looking for uh, fiducial markers in the, in the roof of the environment. So when a mark is detected, an algorithm uh, that use the visual uh, artificial vision uh, strategy you determine the distance between the camera in, and the robot from the marker, and this uh, information will be used to see in a database where exactly this uh, marker is positioned in the, the environment and determine the, the real position of the robot. This information is updated to the AMCL algorithm 
in this way, reducing the error's existence in the estimation of the, the robot. Uh, the, the implementation of the localization system was made using ROS, the, the framework, uh, because we have a lot of uh, already implemented uh, packages that can be used to localization the uh, a robot, like the, the SLAN and the MCL. And we have also some packages that help us to uh, determine, uh, localize, and determine the position of markers. Uh, we create a simulation environment based on the hallways of our university. Uh, in the VRAP simulator that have connection with ROS, we create a representation of this environment, the hallways of the university, well, uh, just like we can see here. And we create, uh, we have a mobile robot with a LiDAR sensor and a camera uh, on the top of the, the, the robot that is used to detect some feature markers. These markers are, uh, that we use are native from the package Artrack Alvar that can be used in the ROS to detect the, 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 the markers and determine the, the distance existing between the marker and the camera. So use our algorithm, we can uh, make the calculations necessary to get the distance of the, the markers from the mark, the robot, seeing the database where those markers is and update this information to the MCL algorithm. Here we can see uh, a representation the, of one of the simulations. Here we have the robots navigate in the environment. I always that uh, marker is detected uh, the position of the robot is uh, updated to the, the to the EMCL to uh, reset all the intrinsic error accumulated from the, the estimation of the, the robot. We made a lot of tests here. Uh, we presented some of the results. Uh, we have here the, the generation map uh, generated by, by Islam and the routes that we use to, to do some tests. Uh, we do a lot of tests, but uh, we will present just a few of the, the results. Here, here we are focus in the kidnap robot scenarios. Oh, uh, that means that the robot did not know his initial position. So the text, uh, uh, the fiducial markers are important to help the robots to determine his initial position in the environment. In the same time that always that a marker is was detected, uh, the estimation of the, the position of the robot was uh, more accurately. Then, uh, then when it was just used is in MCL. We can see that the robot was uh, lo uh, lost. Né? The real position of the robot don't condense with the estimated position. So the the algorithm think that the robot is in the, the route correctly, but he is not. In the, the strategy, use the fiducial markets, this problem does not occur. Here we have the, the same case with the kidnapped robot scenario, but in the second trajectory. Here we see that in the, with the first strategy, just use SLAN and MCL, we have a little bit better uh, estimation of the position in each route, but it still has a lot of discrepancy between the, the real robot position and the position estimated by the algorithm. When use the fiducial markers detector, the, the real position of the robot and the estimation position has more accurate results. So the combination of the SLAN and AMCL with the fiducial markers position track has been shown to be an effective uh, indoor localization system method. We want to test, uh, do more tests involve dynamic obstacles in the environment and more complex routes. And we also implement the system to, the re to a real robot. 
so to be tested in a real environment with people and obstacles moving in this environment to see if the, the strategy is really effective. Thank you everyone for your attention.